Well, 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 what is up, beautiful people? YouTube, my name is Jerry Tastic, and welcome back to another episode of City Skylines Part 16 or 17. I believe it's 16, but today is a full speed build. As you can see, this is going to be broken down to two parts Part A and Part B because it took a while to get the situation or the layout of downtown area figured out for me at least. And, uh, you know, it, this is about what 10, 20, or 10, 15 minutes. It was actually about 35 minutes of recording time. So, I'm not going to talk the whole time, I'm going to let you guys enjoy the speed build, but the idea here is first and foremost, we want to build a highway that goes kind of literally dab in the middle of the downtown area, uh, because the number one cause of traffic in City Skylines, obviously, is traffic in and traffic out, or exit ramps for it. So we don't want it to be just dependent on one ramp on either side. I want it to be in the middle. I want it to be in the side. I want it to be the left side whereby the water height is already established. So first and foremost, you see me here is building that. I wanted to put a really cool uh, intersection of fun in the scene workshop. That's also very convenient for the traffic as well. We didn't just put it because it looks cool, but convenient for the traffic because the ramps a little bit longer. There's going to be two ramps where they meet together, where they go in the main city or the main area that's going to cause traffic problems down the road. That's something we'll figure out we'll worry about later but that's what you see me doing right now now what you're gonna see here a lot in this downtown area is uh there's a whole lot of problems with the terrain. Not a problems really as much, but the terrain is kind of, it's a mountainous area or starts becoming a little bit of a hill area uh, because there's mountain behind downtown is gonna be behind there. And I wanted there for that purpose or that reason as well to kind of make it look even better. But you'll see that the, the terrain is not the softest, not the smoothest. So we're gonna have to work on the terrain later on. Now keep in mind as always, as the previous speed builds, a lot of times you see the layout, a lot of things are probably gonna change but this just gives us an idea of what we want to do now as you see by the water heights we had to do a few things we had to take the railroad lines out for right now uh, and uh, and just kind of readjust a little curves to the highway here just because it needed to be and we had to kind of get a little creative with the, with the rail with, with the train tracks because we needed to push the highway a little bit closer to BTW by the water heights we need to push it a little bit closer, probably gonna create some noise pollution. We said that's not a problem since we don't have any residential areas right by the highway. Uh, but nevertheless, that's what you're about to see right now. And now I'm figuring out the main crossroad intersection for the highway. Well, not crossroad, I guess, but the main area where the highway is going to be. And look at that. See what I mean by the terrain? is very, very awkward as far as how the terrain is because it's very, it's become, start getting, getting more steeper and steeper and more towards the mine. But this is the highway that we want to go just smack in the middle. Uh, this railroad track is actually connected to the outside city. I didn't put that in. I ended up taking out later. Uh, I don't know if you guys will see it now or part B of the downtown area layout. But uh, that ended up getting taken out and the uh, terrain got flanned out there. But the reason why this is very, very important because uh, this literally gives access to the middle of highway where we plan on doing on the right side of this highway. We plan on having the, the residential and the left side we plan on having the commercial. So this is kind of right there in there you don't need to go any more traffic wise you don't need to fill up the boulevards you don't need to fill up other highways downtown literally has its own highway that cuts three and across and i just can't wait till the skyscrapers start coming up
Okay, over here, what you're seeing is I'm testing the traffic out a little bit. It's something that I always do when I put a new uh, intersection in like that. That's the two ramps that I told you are gonna cause a little bit of issue. So what I decided to do, actually, forget this part. I, I said, let me just go ahead and clear this, put the put kind of a metered red light there that kind of uh, controls the traffic flow in the ramps. But then I really realized, why do I need one there? I can just put it at the, where, where both ramps meet up. And that's kind of... This is where my kind of intervention came about. I was like, hold on, I'll just put it there. I try to do it again here, but once again, I didn't really need to do that because I can just put it down there. You're about to see that, but it was very good trial and error. And this is kind of the idea, but I realized I didn't need to put it up there. I just need to put red light down there and call it a day. As you can see right here in the very, very fast motion, uh, the traffic or the, uh, the cars are controlled a little bit more where the left side comes in stops right side goes right side stops left side goes this way less and less and less people set up everybody coming in at the same time causing uh, traffic congestion and it actually helps out the rest of the highway this way you don't have instead of having 100 cars driving at the same time you have 25 five seconds later another 25 five seconds later another 25 so it had it's similar to real life at least here in the u.s at least here in minnesota where there's uh in rush hour times these red lights um turn on and then one car goes every like what uh five ten seconds but obviously in this case they're just always on because traffic just never stops so here i am doing a roundabout so the idea is we're gonna get a little funky with the highway put a little bit uh, elevated a little bit and have the roundabout for the ramps be in the middle there uh you know you'll see me uh, experiment with this a lot i'll let you guys watch it and see how my thought process kind of went All right, now that the roundabout is done, time to lay out the official boulevard that's gonna come from it. And uh, this, these two boulevards are gonna be very, very instrumental to what goes on. I mean, these are literally the veins of the commercial area and the residential area of downtown. Uh, so probably gonna get congested down the road. I don't wanna sound like a broken record once again. A lot of things might get changed uh, based on the feedback that I get from the experts, or not, I well, shouldn't say expert, but the, the, the players of City Skylines have done this before or based on what I see fits right now. As you see, the railroad track, I could have connected it to that, but since it's gonna already host two lines, you think it's gonna go in the middle of there, then it's gonna split and go to the commercial area, then go to the residential area of downtown. I did not wanna already overwhelm the by the water heights line since that line is busy itself. So I don't like how the railroad tracks looked. Once again, you'll see it in, uh, in a little bit on where I kind of switch them up, but I kind of wanted to go between the highway, uh, just have it be a little bit more scenic that way, and uh, that's what we did. And uh, I feel like even though we will have metro, we will definitely have metro, especially for the downtown area, probably nowhere else but the downtown, because I don't see metro just happen in random suburbs. We will have metro, but I thought a railroad track was very, very necessary. It's gonna end right here, uh, because we're gonna finish this off later. I just wanted to kind of get the lay of the land for it and organize it a little bit. And here we're extending this out in case you're, you're a little confused. This side is going to be the commercial area right here. Just kind of extending this out. 
I'm not sure if I did it. I believe I did do it this episode, but there will be another roundabout that goes here that's going to also be connected to highway ramps because this was just a bad idea. I was like, why am I doing this? I can just do a roundabout. That's exactly what I ended up doing. Uh, but yeah, we're going to we're going to have another roundabout here. So basically the main ramps or main highway connecting to downtown area is going to be that center line. The center vein highway that you just saw us build is going to be this ramp and there's going to be another ramp to the left of Badawater Heights that connects there. But uh, yeah, so here we are connected it. I'm going to switch it up in a second and put a roundabout, but so far so good. Here comes a roundabout this is why i was like what am i doing so we're putting a roundabout you're gonna see it uh, the idea of it what i'm trying to do is i'm having a traffic where it gets off be after where the traffic that goes on the highway this way they don't have to uh, interlace with each other that's why you see some sometimes i will try to force it in there because uh so for example if you're getting on the highway i want you to just get off the roundabout as soon as possible and if you're getting off the highway I almost don't even want you near where people are getting on off uh, on the highway is if that makes any sense so that's kind of what I'm doing so the two on the right they're, they're getting off the two on the left are getting on and there goes another major boulevard that I'm sure is gonna be major instrumental to this downtown area right there but this is it ladies and gentlemen we're about to wrap it up here don't forget this is only part a or part two parts uh, downtown laying out area we just wanted to do the highway today kind of uh, lay out the railroad track do the roundabouts, do the ramps for it, and part B, we kind of start laying out the blocks after blocks after blocks. So if you enjoyed this episode, please hit the like button. Don't forget, come back this Sunday for part B of the town, downtown lane area. It's also going to be a speed built. It's going to be waiting for you to watch. With that being said, my name is Jurtessic, and I am out. See you guys.